Hello there. You deserve better products. If you agree with that, make sure to subscribe. Now we can start with the video. So basically, if you are looking for the best architecture laptops possible, then this is the right video for you. So basically, I've been looking at some other people's videos. So what they do is they go and recommend some gaming laptops and they recommend some slim laptops. So what you're gonna learn in this video is that is so wrong. You cannot get by with slim or gaming laptops as an architect. Okay, so first you gotta understand this. People are recommending GTX graphics cards for architects. That is not the right choice. Go to AutoCAD's website and see the recommended graphics cards from their own website and you will know what I mean. They recommend Quadro graphics cards. And what you're gonna find is that Quadro graphics cards are fully supported for architects. This niche, in particular architectural software, use Quadro graphics cards. They need lots and lots of cores, more than any other niche out there. So if you do video editing and other stuff, you might get along good with a normal graphics card and a normal CPU. However, as an architect, you would definitely try and go for the Quadro graphics card. It's gonna give you so much more performance than the normal ones. So basically what you will find is that Quadro graphics cards have much more cores than GTX graphics cards do. They have much more cores. Now they are slower, but they have many more. You don't care about the speed of the cores as an architect you need as many cores as possible. So let me explain this to you simply. Let's say you have a Lamborghini. This Lamborghini can only take two passengers. It's very fast, but it can only hold two passengers. Gaming only needs two passengers, as an example. Now let's say AutoCAD and you, the programs you would use as an architect, they need six passengers. So you can't get six passengers into a Lamborghini. You're gonna want to go for a bigger car. You want a car that can carry six people at the same time. So you don't have to go and come back and go and come back and go. So you want a bigger vehicle. And the Quadro is exactly that. It has much more cores which can transport more information at the same time. So rendering is gonna be much faster. Anything you do in a 3ds Max program and AutoCAD programs are gonna be faster than a normal graphics card. And be aware of people recommending ultra thin laptops. These do not work as an architect. If you go and get an ultra thin laptop and you try render one project, you are gonna boil the laptop. It's gonna be at 100% CPU. It's gonna be overheating. They are not built for that. They are built for general daily use. But for your purposes as an architect, you want a workstation laptop. Now I'm just gonna say one last thing. The only time you buy a gaming laptop is if you are buying a really cheap laptop. If you are going for a budget laptop as an architect, the gaming laptops will work better as a budget laptop because they don't make cheap workstation laptops. Any other case than this, you will go for a workstation laptop. For architects, they are always gonna win. They have a lot of RAM, which you definitely need, and they have CPUs with high cores, they have lots of cores, and they have lots of cores in the GPUs, the Quadro GPUs. So let's now begin with the best architecture laptops for students. So, coming up in number 5, we have the Dell G3 gaming laptop. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a gaming laptop because there are no budget workstation laptops. Another option would be you could definitely buy a used workstation laptop if you wanted a budget workstation laptop. Now, the specs on this laptop as a budget laptop are pretty amazing. It has pretty good specs for the budget. It has a 9th generation Intel Core i7 9750H and it has 2.2 GHz up to 4.1 GHz. The graphics card is an NVIDIA GTX 1660Ti. It also has 8GB of RAM and it has 256GB of M2 NVMe SSD storage and a 1TB hard disk. So that means you've got plenty of space for your projects. It also has a 15.6 inch display, full HD and it's also an IPS display. 
IPS displays are generally one of the best options you can go for because they usually have very wide viewing angles. So whatever angle you view the laptop from, the color quality will not change. Okay, so now let's talk about performance. Now, if you are going to be using this laptop for big projects, it's not going to work out well. It will definitely do small projects in 3ds Max and AutoCAD, it will definitely handle some small projects. However, it will not handle big projects well because there will be too much processing for it to do and it won't be able to do it. So this is definitely a good option for a budget entry laptop that can make you do what you need and do, do the basics and like apply the things you learn. However, if you're going to be working on pretty big projects and you want to do complex things, I would definitely recommend you invest a little bit more because this is not going to do what you need. But if you don't want to invest too much in an architecture laptop and you just want to do some very light projects as you have an extremely good uh, maybe computer in your university, then that's fine and this is a good option for you. Another cool thing about this laptop is it doesn't have those gamer aesthetics. It looks neat and it will definitely work as a university laptop or for as an architectural student, you would definitely be using this without having any problems. And given that it's a gaming laptop means it's going to work better than a thin laptop because it won't overheat as much and it's built to do some gaming so it's a little bit better than a thin laptop. But going for a workstation laptop is definitely going to be a better choice. The good thing with this laptop is it has a good price to performance ratio and it has a longer than average battery life. So this is definitely a well built classy laptop from Dell and it will perform pretty well for its price. It also has a one year warranty. Coming up in number 4 we have the best mid budget option. This is the Dell Precision 3530. Now, please note that all these laptops are going to have different specs, so you could find this same laptop with different specs. So the best one I would recommend you go for is the one that comes with an Intel Core i7-8750H processor. This is an 8th generation i7, it is very good for your needs as an architect. It has 8GB of RAM and it has 256GB of SSD. SSDs are much faster than HDDs and they are generally recommended for architects because they will make your projects load faster and they will make life easier. And the graphics card is a 4GB NVIDIA Quadro P600. Okay now what do you need to know about these workstation laptops is they are built to last. They are extremely upgradable and they are built like tanks. So these can withstand your daily use as an architect, they can withstand heavy projects, they can withstand rendering for a full hour without overheating, without having any problems. So these are generally the reasons why you would go for a workstation laptop. So it has 8GB of RAM, they are also upgradable, you have an upgrade option. So I would definitely recommend that later on you upgrade the RAM, 8GB is usually not enough for bigger projects. It's pretty future proof, you could also upgrade the storage if you would like that. And it has an HD 1080p IPS panel as the last one. So IPS panels have very true and accurate colors and they have wide viewing angles. So whatever angle you view the laptop, the color quality won't change. And this laptop comes with Windows 10. Now Dell made an amazing job of making this thing look pretty stylish on the outside. So when it's closed and you're carrying it around, it looks pretty good. But on the inside, don't expect much, it is built for performance and not for looks. So if you, all you want to do is show off your laptop, then you want to go for one of those slim laptops that don't do anything for your needs. But this laptop is going to be a very good high performance laptop. It also comes with a fingerprint reader. There is also a Xeon processor option, that's definitely a good option. So if you go for the Xeon processor version of this laptop, that will also definitely be a good option. Xeon or the i7 version, those are going to be your best options. This laptop will definitely blast through the most demanding tasks pretty easily. It will sail well over many other laptops in the price range. So this laptop is very good for rendering and any 3D modeling, AutoCAD rendering, any types of software you would use as an architect. So this will definitely satisfy your needs. Now it's a little bit heavy but that's what you will expect from workstation laptops. They are built to perform so they are a little bit heavy. And they have all the newest ports. This laptop has all the newest ports, so don't worry about that. This laptop has a very nice keyboard. It is extremely comfortable. The keys have deep travel, which is very good. It's easy for typing. So if you like typing a lot and you need a lot of typing, these will definitely be a good option for you. The keys are also, also backlit and they are immensely satisfying to type on. It also lasted around 8 hours and 53 minutes of continuous web surfing while using Wi-Fi. So that's pretty impressive.
So coming up in number 3 we have the HB Zenbook Studio X360 G5. This is the best 2-in-1 architecture laptop for students. So basically this packs a workstation laptop into a 2-in-1 option. So it's meant, it's a studio laptop and it's meant for intense use. The only downside with this thing, it doesn't have a Quadro graphics card, but you can't expect anything. If you want to get a 2-in-1 laptop, it's going to have a little bit less performance than it would if you got a normal laptop. But it definitely has pretty good performance. It has an i7 hexa-core CPU, an i7-8750. The graphics is Intel GMA 3150. It has 16GB of RAM, 512GB of SSD storage, and the display is an amazing 4K Ultra HD display. Or you could also go for a 1080p option, but the 4K option is a nice option. And it has extremely vibrant and amazing looking colors. And it comes with Windows 10 Professional. Okay, now I can't stress this enough. The display on this laptop is amazing. It has a 4K, very sharp and extremely vibrant display. It is also fully touch and you can use it with a stylus pen. It comes with a stylus pen, which is very good for drawing. What I also forgot to mention is that this laptop has an option that comes with a Quadro P1000 GPU. Definitely go for the Quadro GPU if you can find it go for the laptop with the Quadro GPU. So this is an absolute powerhouse, it has all the features you would want in an everyday laptop while keeping all the features of a workstation laptop. It is the middle of both worlds and it does both amazingly well. So this is going to be the best option for you if you want a 2-in-1 laptop and you want it to be pretty slim, you don't want it to be the bulkiest thing in the world and you also want to have all the performance of a workstation laptop, this is the one. And luckily for you, it's made for architecture software. So it's going to be very compatible with anything you do and it won't have any problems. It won't overheat and it's pretty good. And don't forget the links of all these products are going to be in the description. If this is benefiting you in any way, please pop the subscribe button. Coming up in number 2, we have the Lenovo ThinkPad P72. This has the best specs for the price. So this is the one that's going to give you the biggest performance return on investment. So if you are all about the performance and you don't care about looks and you just care about having the best specs possible, this is definitely the best option for you. It has an i9 processor. Now there are many versions. It has a version that has an i7, it has an i9 version and it has a Xeon version. So you definitely try go for the i9 or the Xeon if you can. If, you, if it's out of your budget, go for the i7. Now the graphics card is amazing in this thing, it has an NVIDIA Quadro P2000. You could also go for other options, it has other options, definitely try go for the higher number. The RAM is 32GB or 16GB, storage is 512GB SSD and the display is 4K Ultra HD display or you could also go for a normal 1080p option. And it's also an IPS panel which means good color quality and the operating system is a Windows 10 Professional Edition. Ok now I can't lie to you, this laptop is not the most modern looking laptop but it's gonna give you the best performance you could possibly dream of. So if you are all about the performance and you want the best performance possible, definitely go for this device. It has the best performance you could possibly get and it has all the options of all budget ranges so you could definitely go for a mid range, high range very high range. All the options on this laptop are all going to be suited very well for architectural software. So don't hesitate, to just go with the one that suits your budget, it has many different options. But also keep in mind that the higher you go, the more performance you get. So really, the best thing about this laptop is it's extremely user up upgradable. So these things are built like tanks, they are built to last forever. They are, that's the purpose of these laptops, they are built to last you a lifetime. And they are very upgradable, so you could definitely go for as, as long a period as you want with these laptops. Now this laptop is so upgradable is that you can get up to 128GB of RAM on this and you can top it off with the beefiest Nvidia Quadro graphics cards. So this is the easiest laptop to upgrade in the future and will certainly last you longest out of all the options here. So if you're looking for something that's gonna last you 10 years plus and it's gonna last you for your when you land a job and for your future this is definitely gonna be the best option. So if you want something to throw on your teacher's face this is definitely the best laptop to do so. It is nice bulky and sturdy and heavy so you can definitely knock out a teacher with this thing. I'm just joking man chill out you don't want to kill your teacher. So the only downside in this laptop, it has a 5 hour battery life, however workstation laptops suck up a lot of juice out of the battery. They have very 
they use a lot of electricity to give you the performance you need so they don't usually have amazing battery lives. Another cool thing is this laptop is VR certified so if you've ever been interested in VR and playing VR games this is VR certified. And don't be thinking that workstation laptops can't play games, they can definitely play games without any problems. They are just more focused on the architecture which you need and they will give you the extra boost of performance that you need. Up in number 1 we have the HP ZBook 17 G5. This is the best high-end architectural laptop. Now this laptop is very bulky however they managed to keep it looking nice. So this has an Intel Core i9-8950HK processor. You could also go for the Xeon processor or an i7 processor. The graphics card is an Nvidia Quadro P2000 or P600 or others. The RAM is 32GB or 16GB. The storage is 512GB of SSD. We could also go for 256GB SSD or we could go for 1TB of SSD. The display is a 4K Ultra HD display and that's pretty amazing. It has an IPS 4K display with Windows 10 Professional. So the HP ZBook is going to be the best laptop you could possibly get. It has mind blowing performance and it has an extremely vibrant powerful 4K display. It feels like you have a piece of gold in your hands. So performance is amazing on this thing. It's built to eat anything you throw at it. So don't worry, it will work on the biggest projects you have ever done without any problems. This is the kind of laptop that's going to last you a lifetime. You are going to be using it for your work, for your university, for everything. And what's cool about this thing is it looks pretty nice. The looks are dope. Other students are going to grow envious when they see you use this thing. It's going to eat down any program you use. So this laptop is the definition of a beast. It looks like a beast. It's as big as a beast and it performs like a beast. This has every port you are going to need. It has the, all the newest ports. It has Thunderbolt 3 port. This has a headphone jack. It has an HDMI, a mini display port. It has anything you need. Now, the reason why this is a beast and I keep calling it a beast is because it's also military grade tested for durability. So this thing is bulletproof. It is built to last. So you can definitely drop it a few times without having any problems. The display is amazing, the 4K display has very sharp colors and they are very rich and vibrant. So this beautiful display is the closest you will get to a theater like experience. Now what's so cool about this thing is they are extremely confident with their products and it comes with a 3 year warranty with on site repair services. So this is definitely one of the most future proof laptops you could possibly get and it's ex built extremely well and it's gonna last you a lifetime. It's a big investment but it's something you won't ever have to worry about again and you'll be using this beast when you start working with a company. So you invest upwards of 40,000 on education so why not invest some on your main tool as an architect. Your main tool is gonna be your laptop so don't make the mistake of cheaping out and then it's gonna break down and then you're gonna have to buy another one and that's not gonna be good. Make sure to share this video with any architect friends you have. Don't let them fall in the same problems people keep falling in. And make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And please don't hesitate to ask any questions you have. Ask anything you want in the comments. I'm going to answer you as fast as I possibly can.